The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. So our Lord in his kindness gathers us together to strengthen us in his life and to show us his love. As we begin this Mass, we remember our sins and ask his mercy. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <coughs> A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord said to me, you are my servant, Israel, through whom I show my glory. Now the Lord has spoken, who formed me as his servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him, and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, the Lord says, for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Here am I, Lord, I come come to do your will. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. I have waited, waited for the Lord, and he stooped on me and heard my cry, and he put a new song into my mouth. A hymn to our God. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice or offering you wish not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Holocaust or sin offerings you sought <laughs> not. Then said I, Behold, I come. Here I am, Lord, I come, come to, to do your, your will. In the written scroll, it is prescribed for me to do your will, O oh my God, is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Here am I, Lord, I come. 
come to do your will. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips as you, O Lord, know. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Paul, called to be an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Sothenes, our brother, to the church of God that is in Corinth, to you who have been sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be holy, with all those everywhere who call upon the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, their Lord and ours. Grace to you and peace from God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ, the word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Those who accepted him, he gave power to become children of God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, o Lord. John the Baptist saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. He is the one of whom I said, A man is coming after me who ranks ahead of me because he existed before me. I did not know him, but the reason why I came baptizing with water was that he might be made known to Israel. John testified further, saying, I saw the Spirit come down like a dove from heaven and remain upon him. I did not know him, but the one who sent me to baptize with water told me, On whomever you see the Spirit come down and remain, he is the one who will baptize with the Holy Spirit. Now I have seen and testified that he is the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. So in the beauty of ordinary time, our Lord's kind enough to bring us together and it continues the reflection that you've had with Christmas, with the gift of Jesus as Savior. So in the gospel, the words of John the Baptist, as a child, okay, going to mass and mass was in Latin, all right? So as a kid, I see all these people that were going to go to communion come up kneel at the communion rail because the mass is in Latin, a priest turn around with the host in his hand and all these men that worked in the coal mine and were big and strong and I looked at them and I thought, someday I'll be big like them. <laughs> I'm still waiting, I'm still waiting, okay? They all knelt down, buddy, their knees hit the ground and the priest said, 
Eche agnus dei, eche qui tolis peccata mundi. I can still hear that ring in my head, which is the words that we just heard in the gospel, John the Baptist. And as a priest that I have the honor to say at communion time and hold up our Lord and say, behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, the same Lamb of God that John pointed out the reality of our Lord's presence in the Eucharist, like I say, as a little boy, struck my mind, still strikes my mind as a priest to be able to say to all of you, this is the Lamb of God. And also in the, in the Gospel of John, this is why I failed to do my homework, so y'all say two Hail Marys for me, but anyway. John the Baptist and Jesus were cousins. I'm mystified where John says, I didn't know him. I didn't know him. And I'm like, he's your cousin. He's your cousin. Well, maybe John only saw him as a cousin until the events at the Jordan where our Lord says, here I am. I will receive your baptism to take on the sins of the world and all those events that happen. And John says, now I know who he is. He is the son of God, you know. So, Jesus, who is Son of God, comes to us in every place where there's a Mass. Our Lord comes and reveals His presence in the Eucharist to, to give us, as St. Paul would say, grace and peace from God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. So, the other part of the mystery of the Mass is <clears throat> when the Mass turned around and is facing the people, I, I kind of like didn't really... <clears throat> like that but I'm fussy about a lot of stuff but anyway but over the years as a priest again I get the opportunity to see you all pray and you pray very devoutly you do your hearts are in it at communion time after when it's quiet I always struggle when's the right time to stand up before I start my little dog and pony show after communion that's going to put me in purgatory for <clears throat> a while anyhow but because you all pray so quiet, you know how it is. When you finally receive our Lord, it's your time to talk to him about what you got on your mind, what's bothering you, what worries you, what you're thankful for. You know, you know, you and him talk it over. I hate to disturb that, really do. Deacon Jim and I have said that over at Poor Claire's, you know, when there's mass there, it's the same kind of feeling. You know, it's, it's super quiet. I always feel like, you know, should I disturb that or not? Same kind of thing. Same kind of thing. So in the, in the first reading, again, it says, who is this servant that's being talked about? Well, it's our Lord who would come to give his life for the salvation of the world. It's not enough for him, as it says, for he's a light to the nations so that Salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. So that's, that's the beauty of our Lord. So every time we come to Mass, we hear them same words. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. So when you come here, the sins we've committed, our Lord says, I want to free you from those things. I want you to be the kind of person I want you to be. I want you to be freer. And I'll keep working with you to make that happen. In the meantime... To make that happen, I will make you a servant too. I'll make you a servant to do my will, which is always a good thing. To be a servant is not an easy thing. You know how it is when you're asked to do something at an inconvenient time or you don't feel like it or you're tired or you just don't want to be bothered. Those are usually the times when our Lord says, well, I need you to do this for whomever. A servant is a per our, our Lord's a perfect example. Humble, good, loving, always. Never turn away for an opportunity. Wish we could say the same, but again, in this and every mass, our Lord says, I will help you to be the kind of, of servant that I call you to be. So maybe at this mass, as we're here with our Lord and, and come to know him and, and see the beauty of his presence, just just think about and just say, where, where can you use me more? Where would you like me to do more? You know, see what our Lord comes up with, because he will. He will do it. 
we pray for that, that grace of the Lord and, and his strength and power. Ralph mentioned to me that the, the live stream is out for 24 minutes. And I said, oh, no, it ain't. Oh, it's back on. Shoot. Okay, because I said, well, good. They'll miss the sermon and they'll catch on the consecration, which is the best part. But anyway, <laughs> shame on me. Anyhow. <clears throat> oh, my God, I'm heartily sorry. But anyway, where was I going before I went there? I really don't know right now. But uh, anyway, just in, in many prayers, um, Deacon Jerry had a fall at PSR on Wednesday night, but he did not have a serious injury. But he did go to ER and kind of get checked out. So keep him in your prayers. Phil Resch is on hospice care. Phil is a very prayerful man, a very patient man. He has suffered for years without complaint. So pray for him as he's in hospice time. Pray for his family, for Kathy and all his, his, his brothers and sisters and all those dear to him. Just pray for them all. Pray for them all. Hard time. Laverne Mall is in ICU at St. Elizabeth's, and she, uh, she'd appreciate a get well card. So look up her. Her last name is Moll, M-O-L-L. -L. Look it up in the directory and send her a get well card. She's 95. She still wants to get well, okay? <laughs> so she's still sharp as a tack. And our sympathies to Mrs. Bokaki as her sister Carol had passed in Colorado just recently. So pray for her sister's eternal rest. John also mentioned that, that, that him and his wife's boy, also named John, is in the hospital. Uh, with a rather serious infection, so keep him in prayer too. In our parish, Richard Caravia passed away last Sunday, and his funeral service will be at the Renner Funeral Home on Sunday at 7. So his sympathies to wife Brenda, son Austin, and all the family, our prayers for them, and Rosemary DeWitt, a member of St. Mary's, I have her funeral also on Monday at 11 at Lakeview Funeral Home, our sympathy to her husband and children and family, if you keep them all also in your prayers. So now let us stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate he suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We turn to the Lord in our need and offer our prayers. That the church's efforts of evangelization may lead all people to accept Jesus as Savior and live by his example and teachings. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That people of different races and cultures may learn to treat one another with dignity and respect. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That politicians and community leaders may find inspiration in gospel values and seek to better the lives of those they serve. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That those in the military, as well as all police, firefighters, and first responders may be kept safe as they protect others. We pray to the Lord. 
Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. That our prayers and compassion may bring Christ's healing to the sick and suffering and all in need of our care. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. That our sister parish in Guatemala may receive every grace and blessing from the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. That Richard Caravia, Rosemarie DeWitt, and all the faithful departed may have eternal life and peace with Jesus, the Lamb of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we hold in our hearts, We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we thank you for your goodness and love as you gather us in this Eucharist to strengthen us in your life and to comfort our hearts through Christ our Lord. A song during the preparation of the gift is number 599. I want to walk as a child of the Lord. The light. I want to walk as a child of the light. I want to follow Jesus. God set the stars to give light to the world. The star of my life is Jesus. In Him there is no darkness at all the night and the day are both alike the ham is a light of the city of God shine in my heart Lord Jesus I want to see the brightness of God. I want to look at Jesus. Clear sun of righteousness shine on my path and show me the way to the Father. In Him there is no darkness at all the night and the day are both alike the ham is a light of the city of God shine in my heart Lord Jesus <coughs> I'm looking for the coming of Christ. I want to be with Jesus. When we have run with patience the race, we shall know the joy of Jesus. In Him there is no darkness at all. The night and the day are both alike. The ham is a light of the city of God. Shine in my heart, Lord Jesus.
Let us pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Give them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Sana, O Sana, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. 
welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb Take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Our communion song is number 308. Here at this table, we'll sing verse 1, 2, and 4. this table food for all who hunger and drink for all who thirst drink of his love wine of salvation you shall live forever in Jesus Christ the Lord. You who labor for justice, you who labor for peace, you who steady the plow in the field of the Lord. this table food for all who hunger and drink for all who thirst drink of his love wine of salvation you shall live forever in Jesus Christ the Lord. You with lives full of pain, you who sorrow and weep, you beloved of Christ, come to him, come to him. this table food for all who hunger and drink for all who thirst drink of his love wine of salvation you shall live forever in Jesus Christ the Lord.
This time our ushers will take our sister parish collection. Now, years ago, if you were caught looking at one of these in church, everybody shook their finger at you. But all I can say is thank goodness for this right now because it's got all my notes on it. <laughs> this is an invitation to every man in the parish to come to Men of St. Joseph. We meet on the third Saturday morning of the month. We start at well, we'll start at 7.30 in the morning praying the rosary. At 8 o'clock is when Father Bill will celebrate Mass. And after that, for an hour, we sit out there in the vestibule and we discuss how to make ourselves better men. I don't remember how many years men of St. Joseph have been around. Um, it was way before COVID started. And... I suppose the challenge is uh, there's a verse in the Bible that says iron sharpens iron and that's kind of the mantra of men of St. Joseph. It is not an organization where you're going to be called upon to go out and rake leaves in the yard or fry fish on a Friday night or anything like that. It is absolutely nothing to do with service. It only has to do with bettering yourself as a man. And I'm not going to get on a soapbox and get all preachy because that, that'll, as I've said before, I can chase you out of here quicker than I can bring you in. It's an invitation to meet other men of a like mind who want to make themselves better as a man and do it on a Saturday morning, and it's not too early, 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, we've kind of changed the format a little bit because we used to meet every month in the back and when we meet in the vestibule we'll have coffee and donuts but every third month we're going to meet for rosary celebrate mass and then we'll go to an off-site location where our wives are invited so now wives you can start to nudge your husbands to come and just have a little less formal meeting but I want you to know this is an invitation and, and really, there's no telling what the topics will be. It is all to make ourselves better spiritually. I don't know that I can stress that enough. It could be talks anywhere from something in the readings to just, I don't know, the hottest topic as it pertains to men. I can't tell you. It, it, it varies. Can we get a present? presenter amongst ourselves to talk about something. It's all spiritual. So 8 o'clock in the morning, third Saturday of the month, every month, and on that third month of the quarter, we'll go off site for something where the wives are invited. Thank you.
So thank you, Deacon Jim. It is a good group, and they've been active for before my time, before my time here. So I believe, anyway, as our Lord says, come and see. So go for it. Yeah. Um, again, bless your hearts for all the ways you pray at Mass and the beautiful ways you do. May our Lord hear our prayers as, and help as only he can. Appreciate again, Ralph with the live stream and all who usher. Appreciate John and Paula for helping to give Holy Communion. And again, uh, give thanks for Pam for sharing our Lord's reading. And of course, uh, uh, yeah, Tom and Doris for leading us in song, especially with the new Mass, which is really pretty. Just take a little time, it's like riding a bicycle. Take a little time, get used to it, but it's another way to praise our Lord in song. So bless your hearts for, for leading us in that. In your prayers, Tom mentioned that a um, good friend of his, that the person's daughter-in-law was a woman who was killed in Freeburg on Wednesday night, Linda Waller. So if you pray for Linda Waller, the repose of her soul, and pray for her family, again, in a in the hard cross of, of passing. As you leave Mass, if you're interested in taking a poinsettia, we've, we've kind of taken everything we can out of them, so huh, if you want to take them home and give them new life, hey, all right, they'll come see you at Easter or whenever they, I don't know what, never mind. But uh, you're welcome to take one home. Appreciate all who donated for Christmas flowers and everybody who decorated church. We will take down the decorations tomorrow after Mass at 10.30. But way before that, tonight we're going to baptize two little bitty babies, Mason and Moriah. So we're very happy, and you can take a peek at Mason and Moriah. We're very happy for Dominic and Monet. God bless them. And all the Hamilton family and extended friends, because these little bitty ones had a hard time. When they come in this world, they weighed very, very tiny. They were in the two-pound range, if I remember right. So... God bless them, and so Deacon Jim and I are going to do a duet on this uh, baptism thing. It's all right. Yeah. That's right, a quadruplet. I mean, never mind. No, the, <laughs> yeah, that's right, little twins, because they are little twins. God love their little hearts. And birthday time in the world of birthdays, you've got Catherine Branlin, um, David Bosler, Terry Mathias, Connie Jean Goida, all having birthdays coming up uh, like in the next couple days, Deanna Grimmig, uh, Mary Ferguson, Laura Abeg, Wendy Fink, Anna Twig, Timoth Timothy Nesbitt, Marilyn Glassclock, Maria McManus, and Frank Vernier. So, hey, among the many, if I missed you, raise your hand. But if I didn't miss you, raise your hand anyway. <laughs> so, may our Lord bless you on this birthday time. May he give you grace continued ways that you seek the Lord and serve him and a blessing to those around you. May our Lord bless you all in this time, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you. <laughs> Let us pray. Pour out on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. We are sent forth singing number 381. Sent forth by God's blessings. Sent forth by God's blessings, our true faith confessing the people of God from his dwelling take leave. God's sacrifice ended, oh now be extended, the fruits of this mass in all hearts who believe. 
the seed of Christ reaching our inner souls reaching shall blossom in action for God and for all his grace shall inside us his love shall unite us to further God's kingdom and answer his call with praise and thanksgiving to God who is living the task of our everyday life we embrace our faith ever sharing in love ever caring we claim as our neighbor all those of each race one breath that has fed us one light that has led us unite us as one in his life that we share then may all our living with praise and thanksgiving give honor to christ and his name that we bear